My name is Doug Lesh. I'm a ski patrol here at Copper. And this is Kina. She's a three and a half year old black lab. Kina is part of our avalanche dog team, and I am one of the avalanche dog handlers within our deployment program. There's a saying that goes around in the working dog community and world that every dog's a good dog, not every dog is a working dog. Kina is part of our family, but when it comes to picking a working dog, we want the best, and there are certain traits that we're looking for. We're looking to see which dog is independent, which dog is out using its nose. We don't necessarily need a dog to be right by our side. We're gonna build that relationship, but a dog that has that innate ability to explore and, and be separate from a person already has that programmed into them. That was Kina in a lot of those senses. She wanted to be independent. She loved to tug. And then once we brought her home, it was training from day one. Um, everything from socialization to bringing her here in the summer and getting her comfortable with chairlifts and snowmobiles, just getting her familiar with this environment she was gonna be in. So Kina's personality is one of the most unique dog personalities I've ever gotten to meet. We say that she has a lot of personality in a small package. She can be a bit spastic. She is a typical lab. She wants to go always and everywhere and doesn't care what it is. And she also has a lot to say. She can be very vocal, both in terms of barking, groans, moans, whining. Uh, she has a big voice for a little dog. The Avalanche search and rescue community and the search and rescue community as a whole is a big family. So anytime that I get to train with other dogs or other humans, it's the best day of my life. And it's definitely the best day of her life. Not all practice is her actually going and finding people. So if we're not out there digging dog holes and putting her through drills, we're working on obedience. We're working on agility. I'm fortunate to have a great wife who has bought into this program. And so when I'm gone on fire assignments or doing my summer job, she helps keep that training going. The biggest thing for Kina and a lot of our high drive working dogs is they need a purpose year round. Being part of Copper Mountain's Avalanche Deployment Program means that we're part of a lot of other organizations. Search and Rescue in the state of Colorado is under the Sheriff's Office ultimately. We get to be a part of that as a validated dog team and that validation comes through a group called CRAD, Colorado Rapid Avalanche Deployment. And we partner with a lot of the air resources like A Flight for Life um, or other helicopter organizations to get us into the field as quickly as possible. Having an avalanche deployment program in the county and a group like CRAD or another validating organization that provides a standardization for what the teams are expected of is crucial because we want to provide the best resource for the person out in the backcountry who needs our help. No matter what's going on, when you end up out on a mission, whether it's with the dogs or just with search and rescue in general, the emotions that are around that, bringing people together to execute one task of helping somebody or helping a group of people, that's hard to find anywhere else. It's a lifestyle. It consumes you at times, but at the same time, there are a few places that I'd rather be when I'm out on a mission with people, especially with my dog.